Hey guys, Fred here. The E3 FAL. Ontario Northwest Bushcraft Green Outdoors. It is... It is... Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. Out at uh, Mink Mountain Resort. And I am going to attempt to get down to the lake make a trail here because I want to get down here with the drone and fly the drone from lake level I've been flying it today from the top from the deck but as soon as the elevation everything changes all my coordinates on my drone get messed up oh so just how deep the snow well she is up to my hips I've got the orange hat on, so if I fall below the snow level, I at least have the orange hat on. All right. Still knee deep here. But lots of blowing and drifting, too. The sun's got a lot of heat today starting to really pick up. Spring is around the corner. Not exactly sure when, but it is around the corner. So yeah, we got quite the elevation change from here to up there where I've been flying the drone. All right. So, we are under a cold warning tonight again, extreme cold warning. Look at the ice ridge here, holy crap. Let's just see, there's a dock there, I think I got that today. Okay, lots of snow this year, just crazy. So this, this is Lake Superior. Here, I just fell on some ice here. So this is Lake Superior. This is a bay, this is Mink Bay on Lake Superior. Okay, there's a lookout up here that we quad to. It's in some of my other videos uh, that we go to at the lookout. And I believe it's right up there where we go. Because uh, we've seen boats docked out here so let's just okay it's pretty solid here just want to find a place tomorrow so that I can launch the drone oh here a jet up there so what do we got here? Oh, so you guys can see, I probably don't want to wander off too far. We do have some slush here on top. I don't know what the, what the ice is like underneath that. So there's a lot of movement out here on Lake Superior. Uh, and this morning I could see a lot of steam out there and you can still see the cloud cover out this way. And I believe that's the evaporation from the lake. With the lake being open, it's taking in the moisture, taking in everything else, and putting it back out. And I think that's one of the reasons this year too why we've got so much snow. So what I might do, what I might do is just come down to the deck tomorrow, clear a spot on the deck, and launch from there either from here. I believe this is where their water comes in from the lake and they've got everything here for the cabin. You guys can see all the uh, birch and poplar up here. Uh, the woodpecker was here earlier today. He didn't like the drone flying around. So I brought the stick down just in case, you know, I fell in. I had a stick plus to help me in the snow. I don't have an ice pick, but I have my knife with me. I have my whistle, of course, I got my nice bright red toucan. 
All right, so at least you can see my head if I'm bobbing in the water. So what I might do is tomorrow, I may just, because these trails are going to be packed now tomorrow, I'm going to clean it. A spot here. I think as well. Oh, look at there is a spot. There's a table here, and it is dripping. As I said, the sun has a lot of heat in it. So tomorrow, yeah, I'll come down here and. Uh, just all over the place here guys so don't mind me i think so what i'll do tomorrow is i'll come down here and uh yeah we uh will send a drone out i want to send it just above the water is what i want to do i want to send it out and uh maybe do an orbit out here as well if it warms up nice in the afternoon, I'll do that. Right now, temperatures aren't too bad. It's probably the warmest it's been all day. The batteries in the drone don't like the cold, uh, nor do the batteries in the uh, GoPros like the cold. So, once again, I believe this is, I think this is Peregrine Lodge uh, that's up here, out here at uh, Mink Mountain Resort. So yeah, let's just walk back up, back this trail a bit for tomorrow. And of course the old shadow. It's four o'clock in the afternoon here in Thunder Bay, YQT. Let's take a wander up the driveway. Uh, they were here plowing this morning. I got dropped off last night here. At... Holy cow. It's deep here. But this will pack. And then... Oh, be able to walk it a little easier tomorrow with the drone in my pocket. And, yeah. All right. Whew. Yep, out of breath. All kinds of cabins. <sighs> Lots of dead standing poplar around here. Oh, oh I've got to be careful here. Plowing close to the edge. You end up down there with your truck. You'll be a little bit of trouble. Whew. All right, you guys can see the banks here at the end of the road. All the markers. <laughs> Stop sign. We've had a lot of freaking snow this year. Lots of snow. So yeah, this is Peregrine Point, campsite 50, or fire number 50, however you want to look at it. 
All right. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the Auto Breath Fred of EE3 FAL, Ontario, Northwest, Bushcraft Outdoors. 7-3, guys. Enjoy your day.